Hi everyone, it's Dawn and as a lot of you know I've cruised a lot so I've been on tons of shore excursions and recently I was reading an article about the 10 worst shore excursion experiences out there and while I disagree with a couple of them there were three that I've been on that I kind of agree with you so I thought I'd share that with you my three worst shore excursion ideas coming up right after this. My first one comes from Copenhagen, Denmark, and that's the statue of the Little Mermaid that's off the port. And it's a very popular attraction. Thousands of people visit it every year. And I'm one of those people who love culture and history and seeing things like that. And this statue was built uh, back in, I believe it was 1913 by Carl Jacobson, who in case you didn't know was the son of the founder of Carlsberg. Remember the Clydesdale horses and uh, all the commercials? Well, he was the he de decided to fashion the statue of the Little Mermaid after a ballerina, Ellen Page. And so it's been a very famous statue. And you, you know, when you picture in your mind what you're going to see, you're going to see a photo like this overlooking the water, very tranquil. Trouble is to get that shot is very difficult because for one thing the port is usually crowded with people because the shore excursions have like 14 different shore excursions going there at the same time. So trying to get a close up photo of the statue is really really difficult. Not only that but the background if you pan up just a little bit is a great big industrial electric complex so it's not exactly the most appealing backdrop for the statue as well while you would picture an ocean backdrop in your mind or off into the mountains or something like that in reality you're looking at an electrical plant so it can be really really disappointing you might as well really just get a picture from google and yeah save your money on that shore excursion some of the best things about traveling is seeing things that you wouldn't be able to see anywhere in your native country or things like that. For instance, taken up to Auckland, New Zealand, and you can see the glowworm caves there. They are beautiful to behold. So the trouble with the shore excursions are that they are very far from the port. So you're driving for hours to get there and then you spend very little time in the actual caves and then you have to drive back in order to make it back to the ship in time for when you leave. Not only that, when you think of yourself, you're walking and you, you see pictures of the caves and they're just gorgeous. Well, you're not allowed to take photos while you're in there because flash photography and things like that can actually damage and hurt the glowworms and can kill them. So uh, they don't allow any kind of photography. And nine times out of ten, what you'll end up doing is being ushered into a souvenir shop where they will Photoshop you into a picture. Uh, kind of like as if you were on a ride in Disney, in a dark ride in Disney World and they, they take your picture. It's, it's sort of like that. So while you're thinking you're going to get all these breathtaking photos, you're really not. And you're going to have to pay for any photos that you really do want. So while it's beautiful and if, it's, if you've never done it, it may be worth your while just to see the caves if you're not looking for those souvenirs. Uh, otherwise, yeah, yeah, another one you just might want to skip because it is a long drive from the port. And number three, this one a lot of people are going to find really strange because I always talk about how much I love going snorkeling and how much I love Alaska. Two of my favorite things to do on cruises and everything, but the trouble is I don't really think they mix very well together. First of all, it's Alaska, so it's going to be cold. You don't snorkel in a bathing suit in Alaska, you're in a full wetsuit. And the trouble is quite often the water is really, really murky. So while you're used to snorkeling in the Caribbean or around Fiji and Australia, anything like that, and you see crystal clear blue water and you're in the, there with your GoPro and you get beautiful photos. In Alaska, it's quite different. It's murky, it's dark. Uh, even if you do able to 
see fish or anything in the water it's very blurry it's hard for your camera when you're trying to take pictures every time you come out with your gopro it'll fog up and then you go back in the water yeah if you forget to clean it you just get nothing but foggy pictures it can be a real disaster um, it's really only for the really hardcore snorkeling or diving experienced people who want something different uh, personally I like to relax a little more when I'm going snorkeling and to me I'm not really relaxed but there are some advantages to doing it and you might get lucky like these people did and have a pot of killer whales swimming by while you're out snorkeling well well lucky or unlucky depending on your point of view as long as they don't mistake you for a, a, a snack or a seal swimming by in your wetsuit so yeah but uh, it, it can be cold and it can be really dark and murky and it's one of the ones and a few times that I usually say no thank you to snorkeling. So those are three shore excursions that I've been on that I agree with that article that really I could have skipped and saved my money because it's not like they're cheap shore excursions. They're not a $20 shore excursion. One of them was close to $200 a person. So keep that in mind. If you're off for that, you might want to skip it and go for something a little more traditional. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tip videos and more vlogs about cruising, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.